CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 91 through 95. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 91. A user complains that their Windows Home PC is taking unusually long to open applications and save files. After inspecting the computer, the technician finds that the system is using an older HDD with adequate free space. Which of the following tools would the technician most likely use to improve the PC's performance? The answer is B. Disk defragment. Disk fragmentation happens as files are saved, deleted, and modified, causing parts of files to be scattered across a hard disk drive, or HDD. This fragmentation makes the HDD work harder to access files, slowing down the system. Running disk defragment reorganizes these fragmented files, storing them in contiguous sectors, which improves access speed and overall system performance. Thus, the technician should first run disk defragment to address the sluggish performance. Question 92. After a recent Windows update, a user finds that their printer and external hard drive are no longer working with their laptop. Additionally, rebooting the system did not solve the problem. What should the technician do next to resolve this issue? The answer is D. Roll back the recent update. When a Windows update causes issues with hardware, such as printers or external hard drives, rolling back the update is a reliable solution. This process reverts the system to a previous state before the update was installed, undoing any changes that may have caused the incompatibility. Question 93. If a technician wants to share a document with a colleague who's on a different computer but on the same local network, and both are using Windows, which built-in protocol should they use for the file transfer? The answer is B. SMB. The most suitable built-in protocol for facilitating file transfers between two computers on the same local network running Windows OS is the Server Message Block, or SMB protocol. SMB is commonly used for sharing files, printers, and other resources between devices on a network. It allows for efficient and convenient file sharing and access control within a Windows environment. Question 94. You're working on a project where you need to automate tasks on Windows devices using a Visual Basic script. You want to execute this script's .vbs file efficiently. Which of the following options would be the most appropriate choice for running the .vbs file? The answer is C. Cscript.exe. Cscript.exe is the command-line scripting engine provided by Microsoft for executing Visual Basic script files. It allows for the execution of scripts in a command-line environment, providing options for output redirection and control over script execution. It's specifically designed for running scripts and is optimized for script execution tasks, making it the most suitable choice for running .vbs files when automation tasks are involved. Question 95. You're investigating a slow boot problem on a computer and aim to speed up the boot times while minimizing costs. What action would you most likely take to address the issue? The answer is C. Use Task Manager to control which programs launch at startup. Using Task Manager to control startup programs involves managing which applications launch automatically when your computer starts up. By accessing the Startup tab in Task Manager, you can review the list of programs set to launch and their impact on boot time. You can disable unnecessary programs to speed up boot time and enable essential ones for efficient operation. This helps optimize system performance and efficiency by ensuring only needed programs run in the background. And all this can be performed without incurring any additional hardware costs. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. 
To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.